Happy New Year and welcome back to my channel. I have been totally rubbish at vlogging. I've been on and off, I know, but it's New Year and new resolutions and all that. So I'm back today and I'm gonna share with you a New Year's resolutions video. I I don't love New Year, that's the wrong thing to say, but I like the like fresh start and the getting organized and planning and I really enjoy all of that that goes around the New Year. So um, that's what I've been throwing myself into. And I've got a few New Year's resolutions. They're just really quite loose resolutions, really quite ordinary ones, but um, I like to set myself up with some goals for the start of the year. And these are what I want to achieve this year. So number one on my list is to eat better. I'm already following a vegan diet. And if you followed my videos and stuff before, then you'll know we have a little boy with some food allergies and intolerances. So eating's a little bit tricky, the kids are absolutely terrible at eating at the moment and it is driving me mad. Um, like we always, always sit down together and eat as a family, lunch and dinner and breakfast is sort of, depending on what time people get up, we eat that together. But they are awful. One is always fussing and moaning and picking and whinging and then it sort of sets all the others off and I find meal times really, really stressful at the moment. Um, it's got to the point where I like have to leave the room sometimes because I just can't stick it <laughs> and I really need to sort that out this year. I've read all the advice, you know, just sort of make them a healthy meal, give it to them, they will eat it and if they don't, don't stress about it. Um, it just doesn't seem to work with my kids. Um, like I say, we always sit down as a family um, but nothing works and they are really whingy and ungrateful and like I said, it's just really getting me down now because I spend a lot of time cooking and making food and I feel like I might as well just get the ingredients out of the fridge and put them straight in the bin and sort of skip this whole cooking palaver stage um, because it just goes in the bin anyway and there's four of them so it's a lot of food to waste to like give them food for them to choose not to eat it they will not try anything new we're struggling with um, my eldest son at the moment he's six and we had Chinese last night and he just wouldn't touch it. He wouldn't try it. It was, you know, in his head that was horrible and he wasn't even gonna try it. Um, so how, like, how do I, literally, if you've got any ideas for fussy kids that I haven't heard before, please let me know because that is what I want to sort out this year. I want to sort out their table manners. I want to sort out their eating, terrible eating habits. And I just want to sit here next year and say, I can sit through a dinner time with my family and it not like feel like nails scratching down a blackboard. Um, so I'm gonna sort that out. Maybe I'll do a separate video about what I'm gonna do. Um, I don't know, but obviously I'm not an expert. So, um, but yeah, like I said, if you've got any advice, uh, leave me a comment, I desperately need it. Um, so my second goal is to carry on exercising because I have been really, really good exercising. I started the Catch 5K app. Mm. I'm not sure, like a good few weeks ago, and I've just this morning run my week eight run, first one of week eight. Um, and I've tried to catch 5K a few times before, but I never got this far, I sort of stumble about week five. Um, but I'm really, really proud of myself. I've pushed on through. So today I ran for 28 minutes straight. I'm not the fastest runner. I'm never gonna be a marathon runner. I have no aspirations for anything like that. I would just like to be able to run 5K, three or four times a week. And I'm so nearly there, so I'm gonna carry on with that. And I was really good on, um, earlier on in lockdown, I was really good at doing like home workouts and yoga, and I want to get back into that. So I'm planning on running every other day. And then on the days in between, do a long walk, do a home um, exercise video, like a Joe Wicks or something like that. There's loads of options on YouTube. And I want to do yoga every single day as well because I think it really helps with um, like your brain and flexibility and all sorts, just like on a whole level it really helps. So yeah, I want to do yoga every single day. And before I was telling myself I had to do it every single day and that meant I did do it every single day even if it was like a 10 minute yoga wind down before bedtime because I told myself it was a must every day. I managed to do it. Um, I'm not really sure how I fell out of the habit but I really want to get back into that. Along with that, I also want to get the kids out. Um, at the moment, I am succeeding in getting them out for like a really long walk every day. 
Um, it's really difficult in lockdown, isn't it? There's nowhere to go, um, nothing to do if the weather's grim. But yeah, we want, I want to get them out every single day, carry on doing that. And one of my other goals is for my eldest son, who's six, to learn to ride his bike. He's got a real mind problem about uh, learning to ride his bike. He thinks he can't do it. And he would be, he's the type of kid who would be, if he like stopped overthinking it in his head, he would be off on his bike. So um, that's what I really want to start getting him to do. I've struggled, we've struggled with all of them, getting them to ride their bikes. Um, I don't know what it is about my kids <laughs> eating and riding bikes, they just can't do it. Um, but my daughter, who's nine, learned in lockdown and she's like brilliant now, she's really good on her bike. So it's his turn. I also want to, like the whole of this is all about me pretty much because I feel like I focused on the kids and the family so much last year and I really want to do a bit more for me so I want to do the exercise and the yoga and um, I want to read a bit more just make the time for doing reading and stuff like that for me like I think in the evenings instead of sticking the telly on I'm going to get gather the kids up and we can all read a book they can read their books I can read my books and we could just have half an hour of reading all together. I think reading's really important. I really enjoy reading. So um, when I get stuck into a book, that's it. I have to read it. So I just like to do that a little bit more often. And I also want to focus a lot more on work. Obviously work got really put on the back burner last year because of lockdown and I was homeschooling all the kids. And I know we're going into January in exactly the same position, which is really unfortunate. Um, my littlest is supposed to start nursery for two mornings a week which is supposed to give me more time to do work. Um, obviously now I'll be homeschooling. Um, hopefully his nursery can stay open and he'll be able to start as normal, but um, the kids won't be going back to school, I don't think, for a while. So um, I'll be homeschooling for at least the first week, probably a bit longer, but I just need to balance that out with uh, working, find a routine that works for us so I can get a bit of work done. Um, when my eldest was really little, my husband used to come home from work at six and I used to go straight upstairs and do four hours of work from six till 10. So even if it's like a routine like that, um, I just need to sort something out. Um, I set up my vegan food blog last year and obviously I've pretty much not done anything on it. There's a few recipes on there. I haven't put anywhere near the amount of time that I wanted to into it. And that's the business that I want to like be really pushing to move forward. So I really need to focus some more time on that because it's really important to me so i'm gonna make the time for it and the last thing is a little bit random but i think it goes along with the like more time for me thing is that as soon as everything's open again and it's safe to do it and everything i really want to like go and get a few more beauty treatments have some facials um i really want to try like having that um fat freezing lipo thing i don't know why just because I want to feel a bit better about myself, I think. Um, maybe get my eyelashes done for the first time. I've never even had my eyebrows done. Um, I just want to like make a few, like a little bit of time to do stuff like that for me. Um, normally I get my hair done and I get my nails done. Obviously lockdowns put a stop to all of that. So I don't imagine this is gonna happen anytime soon, but sort of maybe the end of uh, the year, I'll have had my eyelashes done. <laughs> I'd really like my teeth uh, straightened as well. Um, but I think my eldest's teeth, hers are wonky, but I'm not sure they're wonky enough to have done on the NHS. So um, I'm going to wait and see if I need to have to pay for hers privately um, before I consider doing mine. Um, but yeah, not that we can even see a dentist at the moment. I haven't seen a dentist for probably a year, um, which is pretty bad. But yeah, kind of those things um, just make a bit more time for me. So anyway, that was a lot of talk about me. Um, I hope you liked watching it. I hope you've got some inspiration for some New Year's things for you, New Year's resolutions, things you're gonna change, things like that. Like I said, I find it quite an inspiring time of year normally. Um, so I'm just gonna hold on to those little bits of inspiration I have and try and move forward as much as I can with them. So thanks for watching. Do subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos and stay tuned for my next one. Bye.